Welcome to lesson two of my tutorial of the desert alphabet. Last lesson we should have covered woo because first woo is technically a word. I'm going to check if that's actually the name, but it is. And secondly, because it is a W. It makes the sound of a W and it looks like a W. Now let's get rid of this. And we can move on. So I'm going to show you all the vowels. This is the part where you really don't have to pay attention, but you might as well. This is the E. It differs from the A. The A has a curved line, or the A has a straight line going down. It's like a check mark. This is a curved check mark. This is an A. This is an aw, kind of. It's one of the many aw sounds The only British people can tell the difference between and people who don't speak American English. Our accent inhibits us from being able to actually understand the difference, but we can barely hear it. So don't call us tone deaf. Um, you usually use this between an aw, I mean an R. Um, it's the aw is an art. The aw, ar, art. <laughs> don't ask me to say that because I can't say the letter. Um, this is the aw, aw like in law, and this is the aw like in aw, like this in caught. So the difference between caught and law. If you're British, you'll very strong, you'll definitely know the difference. For us, if you're ever in doubt, just use this one. Because this one, you just don't need it as much. But it is there, and if you can hear the difference, use it. So this is an O. It makes the sound O. No other sounds. This is the sound OO like in moo, where over here is the sound O like in book. They're both the double O's in the English language, in the English alphabet, but they don't look like it. But this one kind of looks like it. It's an O cut in half. Simple enough. You can remember that, right? This is not a T. It's an A. This is an I. And this is an A. An A and an A. Um, this is kind of like a U. Anywhere, it's not called U, it's an uh. As in, it is actually the O as in women. So, uh. So, if you're writing, I usually use it before an R and er, but I'm not sure that's entirely correct. But to me, it is. And I'm pretty sure that they use it in the Deseret Readers. So if you're ever in doubt, go read the Deseret Readers and they'll show you the proper way of doing it. Though technically there is no proper spelling. It was intended partly to abolish all the effort of Merriam-Webster. Sorry, everyone loves you, but you made our lives really hard and really easy. So, depends on how you look at it. Luckily, Mary and Webster isn't alive to be offended, and that line did not need to be there. I was just nervous. Um, so, this is the U. In a um, word, it says OO, U, U, like E W, OO. So, it joins the club of ooh sounds that I can't tell the difference between. And this, so we've got this letter over here, which is exactly like 
the A is in called, but it's OI, OI as in boy. Now we're going to move on from the vowels. I think I covered them all. And we're going to talk about the V and the F. The F, not to be confused with an F, which makes a sound. This is an F that makes a TH sound. So F is in the English language. This is a P, by the way, just in case you think that looks like a P. This makes the hard TH sound. The, as in the. This is like the end of math. So don't confuse them, because now you know the difference. Also, there aren't a lot of really confusing place letters. So now that I've covered them, I'm going to call this tutorial an end, but not the end of the series, just the end of this particular lesson two of the Deseret Alphabet. I hope I'm doing a good job. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Brian, can you move